It has been 20 years since the Second World War ended with the failure of the Allied invasion of Normandy. A triumphant Hitler declared victory over Europe and the British Empire. The United States withdrew from the conflict, listening to those like Charles Lindbergh, who had argued against a war with Germany. In the East, only the Russians fought on in a bitter guerrilla war. American efforts turned to retribution for Pearl Harbor. That came in the summer of 1945, with victory over Japan. By then, American General Eisenhower had returned from Europe to the United States and a humiliating retirement. In 1947, King Edward and Queen Wallace assumed the British throne. Winston Churchill, who had barely escaped with his life after Normandy, died in exile in Canada in May 1953. In the years after the war, country after country of the old Europe had become part of the vast Nazi empire of Germania. The Führer's architect, Albert Speer, built a monument to the Thousand Year Reich. Germania's capital, Berlin, became a Nazi showplace. The SS became a peacetime police force, patrolling clean and orderly streets. As the 50s came to a close, Hitler was able to put a more civilized face on the Greater Reich. But news continued to be tightly controlled. The 60s began with the war with the Soviet Union still dragging on. Hitler desperately needed to conclude a formal peace with the United States and forge an alliance against the Russians, still led by the 85-year-old Joseph Stalin. Hitler saw signs for hope in late 1960 with the election of a new president of the United States. The Führer believed with President Joseph Kennedy Sr. in office, at last there was someone with whom a deal could be struck. Now, in 1964, for the first time in 20 years, Germania's borders are opening to the Americans. The world press has been invited to cover the Führer's birthday celebration on April 20th. There are rumors that President Kennedy will attend a Germanian-American summit conference. An alliance with America would assure Germania's invulnerability. But there are other more persistent rumors that could threaten Hitler's plans. There were stories that something terrible happened in Germany during the war. That the official Nazi story that Jews and other minorities had been relocated to the East wasn't true. There are also rumors that in the Greater Reich, terrible things are still happening. Television, radio and newspapers are all controlled by the powerful Ministry of Information. Nobody in the New Berlin dares to ask awkward questions.
Yes. <clears throat> March. Good morning, March. There's a body in the park by the lake, about 500 meters from the main road. Meet Isla there. It's Sunday. My son's here. I know it's Sunday, but you're on standby and there's no one else. All right. Army Command is anticipating a complete collapse of remaining Russian military forces within a month. But the big news today is the preparation for the Fuhrer's 75th birthday in four days' time. Papa, do you think we could visit America soon? Why? Well, I'd like to spend more time with you, really. I'd like that, too. Maybe you should ask your mother when you go home nicely. I have, but she already said yes. Did she? No, but she should have. Come and help me. Fuhrer, my Fuhrer, bequeathed to me by the Lord, protect and preserve me as long as I live, that I rescue Germany from Feely, deepest. do you remember you used to say grace when your mother and I were together? No. Want to try it? Okay. Um, for what we are about to receive, for what we are about to receive. May the Lord make us truly thankful. May the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. Amen. an SS cadet from the Sepp Dietrich Academy on this morning run. Here is his statement. Thank you, sir. Morning, Dr. Isler. Well, good morning, Major. Where is Jaeger? I wish I knew. The great partnership you fellas have. Enjoying the weather? It was a lot colder at Stalingrad. Give me a close-up of the face. Well, he obviously wasn't out running. An old amputation. Rather well done. Very good indeed. I'm very happy for him. Did he drown? Well, they pulled him out of the lake, but ask me after the autopsy. Time of death? There's early rigor, but uh, the water is very cold. It's difficult to tell. Ask, ask me, me after, after the, the autopsy. autopsy. Where did you find him? In the water, just behind the rock.
Nice start for a Sunday. Heil Hitler! Greater Reich Tourism welcomes you to Tempelhof International Airport. I am Helga Schroeder, your guide. On behalf of the Ministry of Culture and Education, I would like to welcome you, journalists from the Americas, to Berlin, capital of the Greater German Reich. We hope you will have a pleasant stay with us. I used to cover Berlin for Berlin, CBS Berlin, before the war. A city of great I never thought I'd ever get back. A city of culture, where past and Neither did I. side by side. Reich Tourism will handle any and all of your needs while you are here. You've and been here before? I was born here. I left when I was little. My mother was German. She met my father before the war. McGuire. I knew a you Paul McGuire here, diplomat. He was my father. You are the first American You're kidding. to visit us since the war ended. Germania is a I'm Walter Elliott, CBS. I know who you are. We see no reason Germany why the stars and stripes should not fly in side peace by and side friendship. Across. It is the wish of the Fuhrer that relations between our, our countries should prosper and no divide. We have nothing to hide and have many achievements we wish to share with you. Please, do not lose your press accreditation. Without it, you will not be admitted to the many press functions that have been arranged for your benefit. So please, if you need anything, do not be afraid to ask. Guided tours of the city are available to our guests. We recommend you visit the Victory Arch and the Albert Speer exhibition during your stay. The war ended a long time ago. We are asking that you give us the chance to show you how sincere we are in wanting to bring the Cold War to a close too. Isn't that what everybody wants? I'm sorry I didn't make it this morning. Thanks for coming, Paul. It's quite all right. Your son's sick again. Yes, I sat up all night with him. Coffee. Thanks. Oh, nothing serious at all. No, no, nothing serious. Not really. Two espressos, please. Next time you need to sleep in, count on me. Another busy day in the sexual crimes unit. Who would love that? Your aerial woman under Polak got right in the act. Coffee, please. Uh-huh. A resettlement stayed for her. Ten years hard labor for him. I just don't understand these people. Hey. Every time somebody makes love, somebody else writes a report. Uh, yeah, that's right. Here you are. Have some sugar. Yes. Hey, Zali, I've got something in there for everybody. Anytime you are looking for something out of the ordinary, you let me know. Excuse Here, I'll capture the moment for you. Great. You will need a permit for the camera, Mr. Elliot. Oh. I can arrange it for you, if you like, through Reich Tourism. All developing and prints are free. Fine, thanks. This, I think. No, I don't think so. I think you did. There was a lot of water in the lungs which were swollen, balloon like, and a watery, foaming fluid came out when pressed, so he could have drowned. But he has also suffered a massive coronary. Hard to say which came first extensive bruising on the upper part of the body. He must have struggled to get out of the water. Probably in the water less than two hours. Thank you. You 
Joseph Bühler. Architect of the Jewish Resettlement Program. Admitted to excesses in work camps during the war. In the 1950s, he introduced reforms of the camp system. He was a close friend of Hitler in the 1920s. Connections in every department of the Reich. Forced retirement in 1961. After allegations about improper use of state property, I remember <clears throat> Hitler intervened personally on his behalf. Well, that's great, isn't it? A dead party big shot. Think of the paperwork. Via March to inspect the Bueller residence. The Fuhrer today issued an invitation for the President of the United States of America to visit the Reich for personal discussions. Thank you. Come. Um. 